this place has a purpose for a couple more months and then it dies and that's fine. And then it's like, how far do I put myself into bankruptcy to keep the place alive? Or do I just say, fuck it and pull? Because I could pull out now and I could pay myself back for this year and I might actually have a little money next year for rent. Or I can just keep paying rent in this stupid building that's pointless that isn't going to live past June anyways unless people give me money, which they're not going to because they never have. So why I expect people to start giving me money now is completely insane. So it's like maybe I should just pull the fucking plug and take take my money and run and not pay the next two months of rent because I haven't been able to pay myself this year at all. Not a penny. And I still owe money, you know? So it's like... What the fuck am I doing? Like, oh, yay, I'm keeping this alive for all these people. For nothing. For four people here on a fucking Zoom? What the fuck? I could just empty the bank account for mutiny right now and not pay the next two months of rent and maybe survive in 2021. Or I can keep putting all of my resources, all of my time into a sinking ship that's been dying for years. Oh, I'm sorry. I just came to my fucking senses after putting 12 years of my life into this place, realizing that it is a money pit. And now there's no money left because all the money that I was making is now gone. Poof. The whole, my whole hustle is dead. I was a hustler. My hustle is dead. And now I'm supposed to just keep hustling for free? Like, I, what, should I turn this place into a fucking prostitution? I'll have sex for money here? Is that what I'm going to come down to? Like, that's, that's all I got. I have nothing. I'm a worthless person. Nobody wants to hear my jokes. I have no way of making money. I can't teach because there's no fucking school. I can't. I have no skills. I am a worthless American now. I used to be a wife and I had some real value. Oh, because I can cook. But no one can even keep me in their house. Like, I'm worthless yeah, you now. Have so much more value. You I'm have worthless. So much more value. There's no money and it's not going to come in ever again. There's no way for me to make money. There's no possible way. I mean, I can't suck dick on anybody's way through the parking lot because then I'll get COVID and die. Great. Like, there is no way for me to make money. And I'm sorry that it's just taken me all this time to fucking figure out that my life is for shit, but that's what's happening. Everything is falling apart. There is no money. And you know what's going to happen? All the rich people are still going to say, I want my fucking money. I don't get free rent. I still have to pay fucking rent. What, do I just go on the street and have a fucking tent? I guess so. I guess that's what I get to do because there is no support here. I've been owning my own business for seven years and there is no unemployment for me. There's nothing. I'm poor now. I am going to be destitute. And let's, but let's keep this place alive because it's so fucking important. Yay, free speech. Nobody cares about it. We do. We all do. Well, you know, this is, I, I've already paid rent for April. So obviously this place will be here in April, but I uh, not if I don't I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna keep doing it I'm just not gonna I can't I can't it's like keep this place alive or I don't know feed myself so there we go yay mutiny radio there was an opportunity to make money it was called the fucking comedy festival but people didn't support me during a goddamn festival that I worked my ass off for so why are they gonna support me now when I'm not doing anything when this content is for bullshit nobody want I mean Ah! I had a whole week of content and nobody supported me then. So why do I, oh, suddenly people are going to start supporting it now when there was 12 hours every day of programming and nobody gave me money? Like, I don't know. It's, you were here. You know what's going on. Like, it's, anyways, how much do I invest before I fall apart? Because I'm fucking falling apart. And and I say, pull, pull stakes now and take some money so that I don't, so I can live somewhere. So I can pay my own fucking rent instead of this goddamn albatross. Anyway, whatever. Five minutes left. Say something funny. Well. We just can't do it with our money. No, I know. That's the thing. Nobody can support me with money because I'm worthless. It's fine. But we should. One time, oh, no, one time years no, ago, I used to be married. And one time we went to get life insurance. And the person with life insurance said, you don't need it. You're not worth anything. Because at the time, I was a credentialed school teacher making $32,000 a year. And when your rich ex-husband makes $172,000 a year and you only make $32,000 a year, you're worthless. Because if you die, nothing happens. If I die tomorrow, it doesn't fucking matter. Nobody... Nothing changes. Nobody cares. 
This place dies, it's going to die anyways. Or or what happens is someone else picks it up that actually has money and knows that they have money and it's just been waiting for me to fail so they can pick it up and actually do something with it rather than help me. But that's fine. That's fine. It's okay. You have shows on here that were Nobody, still- but people haven't paid their rent. No, we don't have shows on here because of, because it's corona and everything is dead. And people aren't paying their rent. And when you when you're trying to pay $3500 a month after your own rent to keep a place alive and you're only bringing in $1,500 and you used to bring in $1,000 with something else and used to bring in money with other things that aren't happening. That money is still expected. There's still money that people expect me to pay to keep this place running. It doesn't just disappear. The, the landlord still wants us fucking rent and I don't have any money to pay the fucking rent. And so what do I do? Do I take all my own money and I sink it into this place and go, oh, maybe I hope that someday something happens. No. No. I fucking, I mean, if I don't get, if, if the GoFundMe doesn't happen by the end of this month and I don't have the five grand, I'm, I'm quitting. I'm just pulling everything out and I'm going to try to save myself and maybe someday find a job that can, that a person with two master's degrees can fucking do. And 5,000 pays till August? No, 5,000 pays June. It's, 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 it's. It's hopeless, pointless, and unless those fucking grants I applied for come through, which I doubt because I've applied for grants in the past and I've never gotten one, unless they come through, the place is sunk. And that was the realization I came to this morning. So I'm sorry if I'm having a bad fucking day because my entire dream is dying. But whoop de doo So that's my life, and that's cool, and that's just the way it is. And, and I'll just, I'm like boxer. I'll just keep working. I'm fucking boxer from, a, from that stupid book by George Orwell. And I will work and I will work. And then you will send me to the fucking glue factory. And you won't even remember where you got the motherfucking glue from. I get a kick. <laughs> 